What's going on everybody? Ian here with Miller Garage and today I am working on some polishing. So I am in the home stretch of finishing this Salon Airstream up. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, what I'm doing as far as my intermediate and final polishing stages. So um, that's going to be basically after I have completed the first cut, which I have a video on that whole process. Um, and after I've done an in-depth uh, exterior cleaning, so I basically wipe everything down with mineral spirits using micro eh, mi microfiber cloth. And um, you want to get all of the the cutting compound off of there before you move on to the next stage. Otherwise, that compound is going to be there, and it's going to continue to give it that coarser cut. So you're not going to be um, you know polishing with a smoother and smoother grade compound so you won't ever get the desired results so you want to clean that really well and uh, it's kind of hard to show on video uh, obviously whenever you go from it being raw aluminum to the first cut it's a very dramatic difference and you can really see that um, but from each step there on it's a little bit harder so uh, you kind of have to you know Take that with a grain of salt. But um, what am I using for this process? So I have a DeWalt variable speed buffer. This goes up to 3,500 RPM. And um, there's links for all the stuff down below in the description. Uh, anything that you buy through those links helps me out. So I really appreciate that. Um, and then we have the two inch extension on here, which is definitely a must. And then I'm using Zephyr's sewn cotton spiral wheel and this is a 10 inch um, i always prefer the bigger wheels they last a little bit longer and the price difference is minimal for the additional size so um, we're using that and then uh, as far as the compound itself i'm using zephyr's green chrome compound this is kind of an intermediate compound uh, it's got a little bit of cutting abrasion but primarily it's more towards a finishing compound and this is good with stainless uh, uh, aluminum obviously and other of your softer metals so it's a really good one um, and I'm going to be doing a pass over the entire trailer I have it about 75 percent of the way already done and um, like I said it's kind of hard to tell but like this front section is done and so right about here you know, there's a pretty dramatic difference, at least as far as I can see, where you can see a lot more of the machine marks, and then it's gotten a lot smoother from that secondary pass. Um, you don't have to go crazy. That's why I put a lot more time into the cutting pass, is to get it as close to, you know, really finished as possible, and then we're just kind of smoothing everything out and bringing out the real luster and clarity. So you shouldn't have to be putting a ton of time in. You don't need to be doing like three and four passes. Uh, I generally just do one if there's a spot that still has some deep corrosion. Because uh, this trailer had lots of corrosion. When I first looked at it, it looked to be a lot better. But once I started polishing, uh, this thing's been kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest. Um, polishing in general, kind of a pain in the butt. Not sure how much more polishing I'm really going to do, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so, uh, that being said, there are some spots that I've encountered where there's still some deep corrosion, you know, that wasn't fully removed. So this thing actually, uh, if you hit it with a few passes, you can clean that up. And, um, so it's kind of that intermediate place. Um, and then from there, once we get this done, we're going to wipe it down again with the microfiber. Um, a lot less is going to be needed. I'll probably won't even use a ton of mineral spirits. Uh, mainly just removing what little compound is on there because like I said, we're not using a ton. You can use it a lot more conservatively. And, um, and then from there, we're gonna go on to the final finishing stage and that'll be in the second half of this video.
All right, so we got the intermediate stage finished up. Um, it took, I would say, about eight to 10 hours um, is what I have in it. And um, so once you get that knocked out, you're gonna wanna get microfiber cloth, wipe it down, uh, use just a tiny bit of mineral spirits because you really wanna avoid having a lot of excess on there and you're gonna not have nearly as much residue. So clean it really good because you don't want, again, to mix compounds because then you'll never get your final luster and mirror finish. Um, one of the things that I've, you know, I've really noticed and run into on this, this trailer, uh, the previous one I polished, the aluminum seemed to be in better condition. Uh, I'm gonna get some close-up shots, but this one had quite a bit more pitting, especially along the top. Uh, luckily, that's not somewhere that's as noticeable, but the top, the end caps, uh, there's there's some throughout, but most of what is throughout is more of like a deeper corrosion where it's, it's corroded deeper into the aluminum. And so is what it is, is you kind of have almost like a hazy spot. Um, and some of those spots, you know, I would, I'd hit with the, it is really windy. And in some of those hazy spots, I had hit them multiple times. I cross cut with the cutting wheel and stuff, and it just, you know, there's only so far you can go. So you may, you know, sometimes with more corroded trailers, you just can't get absolute perfection, and that's just part of polishing. So on to the next stage. Um, and this is going to be the final stage. And I am using the Zephyr Showstopper wheel. There's a ton of cars driving up. Like, this never happens when I'm filming. So, of course, like, we have two neighbors over here. That's it. And so I'm using the Zephyr Showstopper wheel, and you can kind of see it's technically an airway wheel, but um, it's a very soft material, and so this is a final finish wheel. And then uh, I'm going to be using for polish. I'm going to turn this way because of the wind. Uh, I'm going to be using the Zephyr Pro 40 Perfection polish and this um, is a, a final stage so this has a cleaning aspect as well as a sealant and protectant so this is the last thing that goes on and then you don't do anything after that. Hold up, okay, actually disregard that that I just said. Um, so after using the showstopper wheel with the Pro 40 in the combination for a little bit, uh, truth be told it wasn't actually giving me the results that I wanted. I wasn't really happy with it. Um, I'm still learning, figuring all this stuff out. We're going on a journey together. It's fun. <laughs> um, but it, the polish wasn't coming off well. I really feel like that Pro 40 is kind of for the very end. You have to wipe it on and then wipe it off. And that works great. And the Showstopper wheel, I tried it with a different compound. I tried it with like the Blue Lightning, which is supposed to be a final finish one, and it just was not working great. And it was honestly leaving more scratch marks and cut marks. So um, instead, <clears throat> and this is what I used somewhat before in the last one, um, I got this eight inch flannel wheel that's, as you can see, just very soft and fluffy. And I'm using that. <clears throat> and I tried uh, several other polishes, and again, it just wasn't giving me great results. So I went back to the green moss, or green chrome, or whatever it is, polished by Zephyr, and this is doing the best. And it's giving a great kind of finished shine to it, um, and then I hit it with the Pro 40, and it looks great. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be kind of narrowing it down to as far as my process. Um, you know, I may make tweaks in the future and stuff, but yeah, I was just not really, not really impressed with the showstopper airway. Uh, it was supposed to be really good, but maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know. So, um, yeah, running this one, I think I'm going at 1800 RPM. So we're going slow and using the green moss. So I'm going to continue and knock this thing out today. Uh, need to get it finished. There's a few more little things inside and then just putting like the lights back on and then sealing the whole thing. And then it'll be good to go.
And that is how it's done. So I gotta finish up just some of the top spots and then the machine polishing's done and then I'm gonna wipe down this side with a Pro 40. I got the other side already and the polishing is complete. So um, this is just kind of how I'm figuring it out. Um, if you have a different way, feel free to comment below. And I know that there's tons of different ways to polish and everybody has their opinion. Um, and I am, you know, still optimizing and trying to figure out the best way to go about doing it. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a ton more polishing. It's not exactly my favorite thing, but um, I have one more to go after this, and then um, we'll see from there. So I hope this video was helpful. I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. We got a lot more awesome stuff coming. Once I get this done, I have quite a bit of different things that I'm going to be uh, starting to do on the channel. One of the things is getting the shop set up because right now it is a disaster and it's driving me crazy. So that's a huge priority. And then I have, you know, potentially a few more Airstreams as well as other projects. So stay tuned for all of that and we will see you next week.